Hello there my fellow notebook aficionados and welcome back to the channel. CES 2025 right here in Vegas is coming to an end and it's almost time for us to pack our bags. But we still have a few things to talk about. While we mostly focused on all the new notebooks that were released or announced this week, we have not really talked about the new silicon behind them that much. And while Nvidia made major headlines with their mobile GPU lineup this week, there has also been some pretty big news on the CPU side of things. Intel even unveiled not one but two families of mobile silicon. And alongside Lunar Lake, which was already announced in 2024, Arrow Lake will also come to notebooks in the form of Arrow Lake H, which will be known as the Core Ultra 200 series for thin and light devices, and of course Arrow Lake HX aka Core Ultra 200 HX for high-end enthusiast platforms. I will give you a little bit of an overview for both new CPU families, but I promise to keep it light on the technical side, since we actually also do not have that much information about what to expect when it comes to performance. I will also show you a few notebooks we have seen this week that will bet on the new platforms. As a full disclaimer, Intel invited us to CES and covered our travel costs and in part our accommodation right here in Vegas. But as always, they had no influence on our content, they did not see any of this before you guys and we also had no talking points or any kind of agenda for the content we had to make. And with that out of the way, let's see what silicon might power your next laptop and let's get into it. Let's start right away with Arrow Lake H, which is the successor to Meteor Lake and you will find this CPU either in super portable mainstream business or entertainment laptops or combined with a dedicated GPU in gaming or creator notebooks as well. While it does not quite achieve the same level of integrated graphics power as with Lunar Lake, Intel was talking about a 15% performance boost compared to the previous generation, which should definitely be more than enough for daily tasks in various use cases. Of course, it will be very interesting to see how this compares to the in-house competition such as the 140V found in Lunar Lake or what AMD has on offer in its 2025 mobile CPU lineup. When it comes to the underlying architecture, we get new cores across the board. In the hybrid approach, we have seen in previous generations already. And following Arrow Lake on the desktop and Lunar Lake, hyperthreading is no longer available. You will be able to get SKUs with either 16 cores in total, divided into 6 performance, 8 efficiency and 2 low power E cores, or 14 cores, which access 2 of the performance variants. And across the board, Intel mentioned about a 15% performance uplift compared to Meteor Lake from 2024. The new chips will be quite flexible in their TDP range, being officially rated for about 28 to 45 watts, but can also consume up to 115 watts, which will be quite interesting for more powerful performance laptops like the MSI Stealth 18 for example. Stepping it up to Arrow Lake HX, we get the same new cores for apparently 5% more single core performance and up to 20% more CPU grant in multi-threaded workloads compared to last year's Raptor Lake HX CPUs. And speaking of last year, the chip lineup is actually a lot more streamlined, with just 6 SKUs ranging from 14 cores in the Core Ultra 5 family to 20 for the Ultra 7s and 24 for the high-end Core Ultra 9s. As with Raptor Lake Refresh in 2024, these will power your high-end gaming and productivity machines. And during CES we have already seen quite a few models that will bet on a new architecture, like the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i, the ASUS ROG Strixgar 16 and 18 or the absolute unit of a laptop that is the MSI Titan 18. In general, there will be a ton of new notebooks being powered by new silicon, with almost all major manufacturers preparing their mobile lineups and I for myself can't wait to get my hands on them. Of course, we will do our very best to test as many of the new laptops as possible, so please make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you have followed our coverage, please let us know which notebooks you are most excited about. This will help me to prioritize what to test and for which samples to keep my eye out, should they not be on my personal shortlist. And that should already be it for today. Thanks a ton for watching folks, leave your like if you felt informed, maybe check out some of our other videos or follow our coverage on the website. My name is Alex, you have been fantastic as always and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Take care.